A disc is placed on a surface of a pond which has refractive index 5 by 3. A source of light is placed 4 meter below the surface of liquid. The minimum radius of the disc needed so that light is not coming out is. See, let us assume I have a pond and in this pond there is a liquid whose refractive index is 5 by 3. Now what is happening from this pond the light is coming out. Okay, but at a particular angle because the light is passing from denser to rarer, the light will bend towards the normal. That is from a small part the uh, light will come out. Okay, but from the other part the light will not come out. So we have to find the radius of this disc. Okay, so the same I have put here. Okay, because the light ray which is going like this, it will bend at 90 degree, right? That is it will bend like this, the angle of refraction will be 90 and the remaining ray will reflect back. That is the light will come out from this circular part only and we have to find out the radius of that circular part that is the disc okay and this is happening due to the total internal reflection that is when the light is uh, allowed to incident at an angle greater than the critical angle the ray will reflect back okay now for critical angle or for the total internal reflection we know one condition that is sine of critical angle is equals to 1 by eta that is a refractive index and refractive index n is 5 by 3 so 1 by n is 3 by 5 and so here if we use the trigonometric function then we know that sin theta is equals to opposite by hypotenuse so opposite is r and hypotenuse is h right and uh, also here and we have what we have obtained here sin ic is equals to 3 by 5 so we can say radius is 3 and hypotenuse is 5 and we want radius right so radius is 3 see because this side is 4 and the ratio of this two side is 3 by 5 that we have obtained it means the radius is 3 meters